Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to do a few flip throughs of a couple of books that I received recently. I've had this one for quite a while. Well, actually both of these for quite a while. Just haven't gotten around to doing flip throughs yet. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Now when I ordered this one, <laughs> It's my fault. I didn't look at the size. I did get this off of Amazon and I will link all three of these books down below in the description. I did not realize it was going to be so small. <laughs> so um, this is by Hatchet mm, Lissiers. I don't know. It's uh, 50 color, color pages um, and this is I believe originally from maybe France. It's somewhere over, somewhere over there because it is all in a foreign language. Um, so yeah, can't read any of that. But let's zoom in a little bit on this and you can see maybe how teeny tiny and detailed this book is. There is a color code on the bottom. Um, I believe um, fine liners would work perfect in this book. Let me zoom back out just a little so you can see the entire picture. And again, with it being so detailed, it's um, very, very hard, I guess, to make out what it is. But yeah, it, it would take a while to complete. And because we can't really make out the pictures anyhow, I'm really not going to do a complete flip through of this one. Just suffice it to say it is extremely detailed and you definitely would need fine liners or if you're going to do it in pencil you would be sharpening an awful lot because you would definitely need a very very fine tip on your pencil. So I um, am going to attempt one of these with fine liners. Probably my Shuttle Arts because I have the largest selection of colors in that. So I can match these up. I'm not sure if every single page has the same colors. No, they don't. Oh, that's a bummer. I really don't like when they do that. Like here, number seven is green but yet number seven on here is pink <laughs> so that's kind of a bummer um they do have each picture numbered i don't know yes in the back <coughs> they do have the colored version so at least you kind of can tell you know what each picture is supposed to look like well that's kind of neat Oh, look at the pretty flowers, rows of flowers. So let's go ahead and flip through these. It kind of goes backwards. Let's see, where's the beginning? At least this will, you know, give you a better idea of the pictures that are in this book rather than showing you the actual pages that need to be colored. So let's go back out so you can see them all. So here we have a tennis player. Oh, is that not neat? That might be the picture that I'm going to try first. I like that. This is from, of course, the front cover, and that is gorgeous, too. This one is a landscape picture, as is this one. That is just so cool. And then, oh gosh, they got to really flip these around on me. That is really cute, too. There are some adorable pictures in here. I don't know if there's a full-size version of this book. It would be nice. Beautiful landscapes. Ooh, look at the strawberry dessert. Raven. 
There's a lot of pictures in this book. Somebody having some fun on the water. Oh, look at the little mousy. Oh, some more desserts. And a bicycle. I think these could be really fun. It's just, yeah, they're very, very detailed. Anybody with a vision impairment would definitely have a problem with these pictures. Fun on the beach. Cherries. Love cherries. <laughs> Salad. Aw, their wedding day. That's neat too. Oh, isn't that pretty? Beautiful landscape picture. So I like that they have them numbered so that you can see what the picture actually looks like. This would also help you match up the colors a little bit better um, because on here, actually, you know, they're not too bad. This is better than some books that I have that are color by number. They give you such teeny little areas to try to match up the color that it's really difficult. Um, but I guess looking at the completed picture back here will help you match up the colors better too. Looks like New York. I guess it could be any bigger city. Oh, I like that too. Mm, love the colors in that. Oh, that's cool too. A lot of really pretty pictures in here. Another landscape. More food. Oh, somebody's stuck, or else they're just four wheeling. Looks like they're stuck. Looks like the back tires are buried. Yeah, that is really pretty. Playing the big pipes. Oh, look at the ballerina. That's pretty too. American pastime. Sports, baseball. <laughs> and we have a couple music pictures. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay, they're in a boat. Does it go this way or this way? I'm not sure. <laughs> Looks like a Buddha. Modern living room. Oh, look at the mountain scene. That's pretty. Castle. A lot of uh, scenic type of pictures, landscape pictures. Oh, that's beautiful. A lot of pretty colors in that, too. Looks like this is out west. And then finally, that's neat. And then the other sport, basketball. No football? What the heck? <laughs> so, there are 50 pictures in here. It is kind of thick, you know, but uh, again, small in size and detailed, but I think it would be a fun challenge, like I said, with your fine liners. So, on to the next book. Now, this one I did have for quite a while. 
Um, this is Gnome Life by Coloring Book Cafe. And this just looked so cute. I know there are a lot of people out there who like gnomes. Really pretty name plate page. And then we get into the book. Does have a bonus over here. Um, this 30 page free beautiful adult coloring book. You can claim it at freecoloringbooklet.com. Are they not cute? Oh my gosh. Let me zoom just a tad. You know, the mushrooms. They are single sided, so yes, you could use alcohol markers, but it, of course, put a blotter page behind. Mm -hmm, playing a violin. Gorgeous flowers in here, too. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Oh, oh adorable. Mmm, apples. <laughs> oh, look at the kitty up here in the window. <laughs> Looks like he's happy. Ah, relaxing. More relaxing. <laughs> Riding a turtle and a bird. Not quite sure what he's on. Looks like a watermelon, but I think it's supposed to be a ball. <laughs> it just reminded me of a watermelon at first. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the pretty flowers. Nutty kitty. <laughs> They're playing chess or checkers. I think it's supposed to be chess. It must be. Both be looking up at the butterflies. <laughs> so cute. Oh, look at the piggies. <laughs> oh, my. There's so many cute little things in each picture. Oh, another cute one. Hummingbird in there. Oh, two of them. <laughs> Pretty tulips. <laughs> Love all our mushroom homes. <laughs> Frog on the bike. Taking a snooze. Don't you love his glasses? <laughs> oh, now that looks like fun. <laughs> After you're done doing that, then you got to relax in the water, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. And they're laughing at him. That is so cute. He's got a butterfly on his butt. <laughs> oh, whoever drew these has a sense of humor, right? Oh, look at the babies. And the frogs. Yeah, a lot of pretty flowers in here. <laughs> oh, having a beer, huh? <laughs> he says yes. Reminds me of Santa Claus. <laughs> kind of a pattern around. 
and that is it and there is a page that you could use for testing your mediums down in the back so there are little thumbnails on the back page so again that is gnome life by coloring book cafe and then the last one of course has to be a pattern book i have to get one of them in there right this is by jade summer 100 amazing patterns and i cannot believe i did not have this book yet it just boggles my mind <laughs> so this is a very thick book because there are 100 patterns in here <laughs> so <clears throat> this is by Fritzen Publishing. It has some of their social media down here, their website. And here we go. So some of these are mandala type of pictures, but they have the nice thick lines. And again, they're single-sided with the black reverse side, just like all of Jade Summer books. So alcohol markers would work perfect on these. Because they're not so detailed, you know, they're, uh, they would be easier to color with the, with the alcohol markers. Oh my gosh, I love these. I did not flip through this book entirely. I just took a real quick glance when I got it the other day. But, oh yes, I love it. Hmm, I have a number of, well a couple I should say color and chats that I have to do um, already, but we will do one out of here too. Because these are right up my alley. Oh, I like that. Now this did come out a while ago, I believe. I did not look when exactly it came out, but I know it's not a new book. Oh, so cool. And like I said, I like the thicker black lines. I have a hard time with the real thin ones. With my gel pens, it's not quite so bad. But, you know, other than fine liners, when you have those really thin lines, Unless, of course, you're working with pencil. Oh, here's a very simplistic one if you just want a quick do one. So they are kind of like, you know, mandala type of designs, but yet a little bit different. Oh, look at the parrot. Oh, that's neat. Mm, prisms, kind of. Oh, pretty roses. A little more detailed one. <coughs> I think you're a uh, Sharpie uh, extra fine points would work good on here, at least for parts. Another kind of more simpler one. Oh, that's cool. Another simpler one. So they do have a variety. Here's one that's a little more detailed, but couldn't you see the colors that you can come up with, the color combos and those butterflies. So yes, definitely some more simple ones, but then a little bit more detailed. Oh, pretty roses again. Another more simple one. 
and a little more detail, but yet not so detailed that it, you know, that it would take fine liners, like that first book I showed you. <laughs> this is quite the opposite of the first book I showed you. <laughs> kind of went from really detailed to not too bad with the gnomes to a more simplistic book. <laughs> I showed you the hardest one first. <laughs> Ah, oh, makes me want to get out my alcohol markers. <laughs> Dive right in. Do you ever see find yourself doing that when uh, us color tubists, anyhow, when you do a, a flip through of a book? It's like, oh gosh, I want to get going on that book right away. Oh, so many neat pictures. Like I said, I cannot believe I did not have this book yet. Oh, pretty flowers. Oh, love that. More prism type design. Almost looks like a snowflake. <laughs> Another simpler one. That could be a fun one to just sit down and relax with and, you know, get the picture done quickly. Neat pattern around the outside of this. Mm, I like that too. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. That looks like a fun one too. <laughs> Fish. I could see maybe going in with marker here and then using pencil to add some shading there. Could also see using my uh, chameleon markers on some of this. Especially the floral ones. I think that would be neat. Doing some straight coloring and some blending. Might have to try that. I don't get those out enough. And they're so much fun. <laughs> Another easier one. Some of these easier ones I think would be fun with the chameleons too. And again, because of the thick lines, the chameleons would be much easier to work with on these type of pictures. More detailed one. And something like this, I could see using my gel pens on. <laughs> or water-based markers. Because Jade Summer Books, this paper from uh, Create Space, really bleeds. Um, real easily. So again, <laughs> the dark thick lines is really nice if you're using the alcohol markers. And even then, you may not be able to go right up to the line. You know, you kind of stay away from the black line because it may bleed outside the lines. And their paper in particular really seems the the ink really feathers out. This is really thirsty, thirsty paper. Oh, that's neat too. As I'm flipping through, I'm already getting color combinations in my head. <laughs> Another simpler one. That would be a fun one with chameleons. Hmm, 
Another simpler one. So quite a few simple ones and uh, medium ones, of course. You know, there's none that are really detailed in here, which I like. It's so nice sometimes to just sit down with your markers or pencils or gel pens and just do some simple things, you know. Don't take much thought other than picking out some colors. And then, yeah, just lay down the color and relax. So as you can see, there are a lot of pages in this book. A lot of patterns. And I think I have loved every single one. <laughs> oh, I like that too. A little more detailed one. This is one book I would love to color from front to back. <laughs> would take me quite a while to do, but <laughs> with a hundred patterns in this book. And as always in all of their books, um, these two pages are the same. Leaving your Amazon review, joining their email list, and um, their Facebook group. And then a listing of all of their other books. As you can see, they have a ton out. So if you are one of the few of us colorists that do not have any Jade Summer books, um, they have just about anything and everything. Um, so go check them out. Here we have a couple of the pages on the back cover. So those are the three um, newer books that I have received. Again, I've had a few of these quite a while. Um, this one I did just receive though, so I thought I would do a flip through now that I have all three. So, I thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody is having a terrific week. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.